Standing by with the mobile home wrecker, Bruce Gray, who tonight has a huge one-on-one -on -one matchup. It is a little bit weird to see you in singles action because you're normally in a tag team with your partner, Pure Trash Ron Mathis. Is singles gold in your future or are you looking to stick with the tag team side of things? You know, when you come from a town like Chillicothe, Ohio, gold is always what you're looking for. It's always the goal. You see, me and Ron Mathis, we come from a little bit of a poor town. The pawn shop loves gold. Henceforth, Ron Mathis and Bruce Gray love gold. Tonight, though, I'm going against a man who I actually trained to wrestle with. So I know him really well. Unfortunately, he knows me very well. But the game plan never changes with Bruce Gray, you see. The game plan is always all roads lead to a D D T. at this time by Pure Trash Ron Mathis and the OCW General Manager Glenn Lane. Hey, what's up, boss? What's going on, I guys? think we got double booked, brother, brother. we got double booked. Who's That's running this show? Good. Come on, man. We're good with it, right? I blame Kevin. I just wanted to come out here and check out old Brucey Jack, because I don't know if you guys heard, but we want to claim them OCW Tag Team titles. So I'm just going to watch and tell you how cool Bruce is. It's worth noting that the only member of the entourage to show up tonight is the professional Brandon Fields. That means Nick Hahn sending his man out to battle solo. Well, hey, at least Fields is uh, living a gimmick, the professional, right? At least he showed up. That's fair. Well, uh, you can surely believe Agent Nick Hahn's eyes are on this matchup. I would imagine he's watching everything that happens at OCW. He's claimed that he wants to take over the whole company. Well, let's just say there's some people that are reporting back to him, and I'll leave it at that. The Raptors are about to shake, brother. This place is about to come down as Brucey e. Jack. He's going to enter the ring and turn this crowd into pure electricity. Here it comes, brother. I'm starting to see that. I like it. It's great. I feel like I'm in the 80s, 90s era of wrestling. It's kind of fun. Best compliment you could ever give, Bruce, there. favorite moves. 
Well, we had Bruce on when you were having Bruce, your match. Bruce, I'm a broadcaster. I'm a broadcaster, Brucey. I see you. Doing good. Hold on. Doing good. Guys, there's my tag team partner. I'm a broadcaster. Give me a pencil so I can do the Mr. Perfect. I'm the DDT guy. Oh, oh yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. What up, Well, they don't call him the mobile home wrecker for nothing. There's the bell. This, this fight is off and going. You guys want to hear something interesting about Brandon Fields? Absolutely. So do I, because there's absolutely nothing interesting about him. How you can explain to me that a man can be a wrestler, a professional wrestler, and still be the most boring man walking the earth is beyond me. Well, Brandon Fields, you can call him old reliable when it comes to the Han Parash. He's willing and able to do whatever Nick Han tells him to do. And that included being here tonight to fight Bruce Gray. Don't get me wrong, he's an effective athlete. He knows how to work in that ring. I'm talking about strictly as a human being, boring a sin. I honestly can't disagree with that. I've only had two conversations with him without Nick Hahn around, and it lasted about three minutes tops. He seems like a nice person, but maybe not being around Nick Hahn this week, maybe flying literally solo, is what he needs to set himself apart from the pack. What he needs to set himself apart from the pack is get a win over an athlete the caliber of Bruce Gray. Winning solves everything. It doesn't matter who's ringside with him. He can win the matches. He's going to prove what he needs to prove. Calling for a test of strength here. For Bruce Gray, this is his first singles match here in OCW since December of 2019. As you see here, uh, uh, Fields is getting a little bit frustrated with these fans being solidly behind Bruce and not behind him. Bruce, Bruce asked him to boo that man, and they boo that man. But uh, back to your fact, there's some more booing. Back to your fact about Bruce in the singles matches. Since he's came back from his shoulder surgery, he's been primarily doing tag team matches. This might be his fifth or sixth singles match since coming back. Boo! I hate you, Brandon Fields. <coughs> what do you think, boss? We'll put God on the limb here. Who are you picking in this one? I think it's going to be a great match. Be great. Oh, come on, man. Don't be a wimp. Go out on a limb. I think it's going to be a good brother. match. Um, Diplomatic Brandon, Brandon, answer. Field, Brandon Fields is definitely, you know, he's part of the entourage. He's, he's one of his best guys. And you can't take nothing away from Bruce Gray. I mean, he is the home record, right? I can take one thing away from Bruce Gray. Look at you can't see collars. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because Bruce is colorblind. No offense to anybody out there watching that is colorblind. Other than Bruce. Just Bruce. Other than Bruce. Is Bruce going to take offense to it? No, he actually mentioned it on the broadcast when Ron oh, was in the ring. I've been ribbing him about this for a decade. He uh, mentioned that you changed the color of your hair just to make fun of it. He never knows what's going on up there. Brandon Fields hitting the rope here. Bruce Gray able to get that hand up and trip him over. For Bruce Gray and Brandon Fields, this is a very important matchup because this is two guys that graduated from the same wrestling team. They were in the same training class at Ohio Pro Wrestling Academy. Actually, they were both in the inaugural class, and I would definitely say that possibly the two most successful people to come out of there. It's one shoulder tackle there by Brucey Jack. He's a house of fire here. Going for the cover. One, two, no. Hate to correct you, but it's actually only one count, so I think Brucey has a lot more work to do. That is, uh, you don't want to go one count and then expect to get the win there, you know? But you always want to make them use that extra energy to kick out. Make them use every breath they can. Even if you know you're not going to get them, make them work to kick out. Wear them down a little bit. Just the same thing with this headlock. But there's the professional. Able to get out of it pretty quick. Transitions into a head scissor and wow. I don't think I've ever seen that transition before. Well, Bruce is a, he's a student of the game. He, he can tell you more about wrestling than anyone I know. He's kind of a dork. Huh? He's my dog. Back to that headlock, almost a crossface of sorts. And to the standing position. That's the thing about Brandon Fields. He can get out of just about any hole. How about getting his nose pulled off? Can he get out of that? <laughs> I don't know too many people who can. Got your nose. Oh, God. 
Greco Roman no slap there by Boots Prey. That's an Technique. easy way to break a nose. Uh oh, he's got him by the throat. I know what's coming here. Up he goes. Oh! He does love a good atomic drop. Who doesn't? I would imagine Brandon Fields right about now. Ah, come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Fields with the back elbow and ooh, missed that clothesline. Right he's going for that eye of the hurricane out of the corner he loves to use. Bruce Gray is feeling very comfortable right now in the ring. He's got something on his mind. I don't know what he's thinking. Uh-oh. Actually, I see what he's doing here. He's lining it up. Looking to kick a field goal. Bruce real excited about the Bengals going to the Super Bowl. He's lining it up. He's lining it up. It's up. And it's good! Right through the uprights. Yeah! Three points! Oh, man. Jack! You see, it's funny because he's acting like he's playing football, but we're not. He actually just kicked him in the butthole. You get it? I, I get it. You, you get it? You could call him Shooter after this, you know? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We'll wrap this thing up. Here we go. It only takes one. It only takes one. Oh, Fields slips out. That was the only way to escape that one. That is the mark of a, of a professional getting out of a maneuver so dangerous as the DDT. It's simple in its execution, but so dangerous in the hands of the right person. Oh, the DDT doesn't take long to learn, takes a lifetime to master. And Bruce Gray has it beyond master. He's the master and the ruler of the DDT. Brandon Fields looks like he's uh, trying to take a walk, and Bruce Gray is not interested in a count-out victory. Hey, boss, do count-out victories pay less, or is it all the same? I'm genuinely it's all curious. The same, man. Let him walk, Brucey! Brucey ain't that kind of guy. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I'm just kidding. Oh, right off the apron there. And that goes back to that slap to the nose earlier. That could very easily dislocate the nose or even break it. And I don't think Bruce is done with that damage to the face right now. He's got no guy. Ah, boom! To the other side of the ring and making sure everybody in Chaparral's gets a front row view to that beating. You get your money's worth when Diddy Trash is on the card. That much is guaranteed. You hear that, boss? That's DD Trash making your pay customers happy. A little bit extra in the envelope won't make me mad, brother, brother. Won't make you mad. Won't make you mad. But well deserved, right? Well deserved. Well deserved. Look at that. Oh, ah, ah, get it, Bruce. Brandon oh, Fields is stumbling around like he's drunk. He has no clue where he is. None at all. Ah, oh. <laughs> See, the only time Brandon Fields is entertaining was when it's an accident. What a dork. Rough night at the office right now for Brandon Fields. I can guarantee Agent Nick Hahn is not pleased right now. I mean, wherever he is. Yeah. Where's he at? Florida. The Keys. Wherever it Maui, is, we Maui. hope it's cold. Give me power, bud. Give me power. What, the man's not allowed to enjoy a vacation? Well, not without notifying someone. Right. I'm sure Brandon Fields would have liked a heads up. That's all very accurate there, Drew. You got a comment on that? Get one in there, Bruce. I think he's ready for that. Oh. Ooh, nice I don't, shot with the knee there. I don't ask Nick Hahn about his personal business. That's his business. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, like no. Maybe into the post before crashing into the barricade. Yeah, I think I saw his shoulder clip that on the way down, which I don't, if you've watched Bruce Gray at all, you know about the surgically repaired shoulder how his the shoulders cost years off his career, so that, that's not good. But Bruce is prepared for this type of thing because he knows that people are going to focus in on it. Not so to mention, for it. you can see the apparatus that Bruce Gray wears on his shoulders to protect them. Exactly. I'll tell you what, though. Oh, uh, God, no, no. Oh, oh no. Man. Well, uh, I can guarantee that didn't provide much padding on that. Uh, he's just tearing a Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Count. Count, ref. Come on, man. Ah. Again into the post. <laughs> I tell you what, man, as long as, as, long as this remains a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to sit here. I'm not going to do anything, but it's hard to watch your tag team partner when I know everything he's with on that shoulder already. Oh, man. This could dislocate. Uh, oh, come on, God. Ref. Come on, ref. Give us a count. Give us a count. Uh, he's, uh, as much that's as I hate it, that's smart by Fields there. Broke the count, gets back out, he can do more damage. There we Ooh. go, Brucey. Or get damaged after that chop. Ah. Uh, turnabout's fair play there, smashing... Bruce Gray's face off the apron. You know, I would, at this point, I'd rather see my friend get his face slammed into the mat than that shoulder be good, more damage. Maybe Fields will forget about it, but I don't think so. Bruce Gray trying to gain some separation there. Maybe take a moment with that shoulder. Yeah, at this point, that's all he can really do. Ooh. Back 
suplex landed hard on the shoulders. Cover for the win, two count only. Come on, Brucey. Come on, Bobby. And the tide has definitely turned. You can feel the energy shift in the arena as Brandon Fields is really targeting, especially the left shoulder. Well, the one thing I can be grateful here is that, uh, that old Nick isn't ringside that'd be cheating here. At least it's just one on one. I can, I can sit here and not have to counteract. Him. Oh! Ow. Did you guys hear that count? What's that? That was, that was a good one. Oh, like yeah. Br mm. Bruce isn't known for his chops, but he's two for two so far. Oh, his apparatus oh, is coming no, off. No, 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 no. It's not good. Ah. Arm ringer there by Fields. A simple professional maneuver. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that isn't good. And that, another thing that, all, that does two things there. Not only is he working on that surgically repaired shoulder, but how can Bruce focus on his game plan when he knows he has children at home to take care of and his surgically repaired shoulder has nothing protecting him right now? Like, it's going to be hard for him to get back on his game plan. Oh, a hammer lock that time into that back suplex. God. He's boring, but he's deadly. Into the cover. Does Come he have Bruce. enough here? Come on, Bruce. Two count. You better stay on him, Fields. You almost wonder if for Bruce Gray, he's having flashbacks to the last few months of his life where he's been spending that time recovering after surgery again. Got that jawbreaker though, at least he's still fighting. He's he's gotta be prepared for this. Everyone's gonna come for that shoulder. It's a giant bullseye. He's gotta do what he's doing right now. Oh, what a drop kicks in the business. Just keep fighting, Bruce. That's all you can do. Bruce Gray trying to protect the left shoulder, using the right shoulder for damage purposes. Looked like he might have been going for the DDT. Oh, no. Arm breaker down hard on the mat. Fields is a surgeon right now, man. This is where he shines. You talked about him being, oh, cover. One, two, does he have it though? You talked about him being bored. I don't think that somebody who can dissect body parts is all that boring right now. Again, when I, when I talk about that, I'm not talking about him as a professional wrestler. As a professional wrestler, it's, I mean, it's my best friend Bruce, so I'm not enjoying it right now, but it's fun to watch someone pick someone apart. He is an artist at work. I mean, he is boring as technique. a human being. He's gonna go out to dinner and order the green beans and the cheeseburger, and he's gonna get it to go order because he didn't quite finish it off. He is a boring human being. As a professional wrestler, the man's an artist. Oh, just a desperation chop. Throwing anything he can as Bruce Gray to try to keep away Brandon Fields. This is getting uncomfortable. It's starting to get to the point now where Bruce is going to have to smell some sort of comeback. Like, oh, if he doesn't do it in the next few minutes, I don't think he's going to be able to do it at all. Excruciating damage being done to that left shoulder. Remember, it only takes one split second for him to hit that DDT, too. That's true. And it only takes one. It only takes one. Wow, it got loud in here in a hurry. Bruce Gray fights back off the ropes. Oh. That wasn't to the face. It was to the shoulder. Into the uh, cover. Come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Does he have enough here to count? And even the fact... When you're able to hit those kicks, it's not just because all I'm in pants, it's everything you do when you're hurt like that is thrown off a second. Everything Bruce has done, his timing is off a half a second. And Fields is going to be able to capitalize because, like I said, the man is an artist in between those ropes. Now, come on, Brandon. Don't get frustrated now. No, man, get frustrated. Do it. Almost seen the beginnings of the violent artist here in Brandon Fields. Let's see if he can turn on the next level because you need that killer instinct. Going for the ripcord lariat. Nobody home. Beautiful back elbow Come using on, the good shut side. Come on, Stay on him, brother. Bruce! 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 Whoa. There we go. Nice kick to the midsection. Follows it up with the knee lift. Million dollar knee lift. Come on, Brucey. There we go. There we go. He's doing this with one arm, guys. He's doing this with one arm right now. It's the one-armed man in an ass-kicking contest right now. Oh! Oh! Got that button here. Here goes the DT. Here we go, Bruce. It's now or never. It's now or never. Get it, Bruce! There we go. Here we go. The OCW faithful want that DDT. Can Bruce Gray pull it off? Here we go, the one-armed man. Here we go. Oh! Smart by Brandon Fields, grabbing the rope. Knowing where he is in that ring. Uh-oh, got the ripcord. The ripcord. Ripcord. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Put okay, both Bruce. men down, center of the ring. Fields Bruce. can't capitalize at the moment. Exactly, and sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Bruce is lucky that Fields can't capitalize here. For Fields, he just has to roll to his left, and he might have this thing won. I hey, like this, boss man. Your men out there, hey. you pay them, they leave it all in the ring. Leave it all in the ring. They're doing what they're supposed to do, right? Get your money's worth out of these athletes. This might be a matter of who gets up first, fellas, because Bruce is going to need to be getting up and be waiting, because if it comes a matter of speed, I'm telling you, slow down, have a step on everything. He needs to get up and be ready. Bruce to a knee, now to both feet. Both men back up about Turn the around, same Bruce. time. Turn around, Bruce. Ah, oh, no, not an Oh, no. One more time off the ripcord. Oh, 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 he might be able to make Oh, crap. That might be oh, it. Cover. Two and no. Oh, he kicked out. And a boy, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. 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 How did Bruce Bray kick out of that ripcord lariat? Twice. We thought he had him on the first one, and he kicked out of the second one. Bruce Gray is a freaking machine. Brandon, get back on it. Stay focused. Oh, he's making a mistake. He's making a mistake. Brandon, stay focused. Oh, he, this might be the moment where we look back at the end of this match, and this was the moment where Brandon Fields lost. This might be a critical point right here. Fields is taking his eye off the ball, and that is giving Bruce Gray valuable seconds to recover. Bruce, you fresh. Oh, oh, back, back to that arm. Shoulder. He got frustrated, but he recovered. I gotta give him credit there. Come on, Bruce, don't tap out. Come on, Bruce, please don't tap. This has gotta be please torture. Please don't tap. Please don't tap. Excruciating agony on that shoulder. It's hard to watch, fellas, but I try to... Oh, and he's out! He's out of it! Beautiful back body drop by Bruce Gray. Almost out of desperation. Does he have enough here? Oh, Oh man, DDT! Oh, DDT. Mistake, mistake! You do not DDT Bruce Gray. He is in purpose. He's the master and the ruler of the DDT in every way. He's the DDT guy. You don't DDT it. Master ruler in every way. Not gonna work. Not gonna work, brother. Not Twice. gonna work. Try it again, dum dum. Stay Try it again. Brandon. DDT him again. Well, what an idiot. No. My God in heaven, he's back up. Don't do that! Don't get in team, Bruce Gray! Down goes Fields! Oh, set it! Ready? No! See ya! See ya! Cover. One, two, and three! Oh. Go! Oh. Here is your Bruce Gray! I'm gonna go celebrate my friend! What a match! Incredible. Wow, what a great match. Three DDTs. Guys, I, Brandon looks a little, a little, let me go, I'm going to go check on Brandon. That's uh, fair. I'm going to check on Brandon. He, he, 